One of the biggest keys to creating tension through music is understanding how little you need to do. When is silence more effective than music? When is one note more effective than 10 notes? My name is Joseph Trapanese, and I scored the music for No One Will Save You. When I tell people what I do, I tell them I make music. I didn't really come from a super musical family. I had like musicians in the distant past. It was really my friends who made me love music. So I joined my school band, I played trombone. And even later in college, I played in the New York Youth Symphony. And if any of you out there know what the trombone is like in the orchestra, we don't play all the time. So when I wasn't playing, I would pull out the score and I would learn about how the orchestra worked. When I was finishing school, I thought about what I should do. And I remembered back to my teenage years, seeing movies and really loving the soundtrack. So I said, okay, great. So I worked with as many composers as I could, as an apprentice, as an intern, to learn their methods. And I did all sorts of short films, a couple of random feature films. I would take the skills I was learning during the day and applying them to my own projects so that I could gradually find my own voice. My time with Daft Punk, Tron Legacy, that was a really incredible opportunity uh, for me to spend two years in the studio with a world-class pair of musicians. Yeah, I actually know what they look like. <laughs> Director Brian Duffield and I are really close. We consider ourselves close friends, and this is our second film together. So when it came time to do No One Will Save You, Brian called me up, and as a composer, I love starting super early. This film has a bit of everything. It has that sci-fi element, some horror elements. You'll know right away that this is not, <laughs> this is not a normal, beautiful movie. One of the most unique things about working on No One Will Save You is that there was not a lot of dialogue. And as a composer, that's a bit of a dream that you go, wow, great, I have this huge platform to say things that normally the dialogue would say. I realized sound design, they're in the same position I am where they don't have to compete with dialogue, so we're gonna compete now. That meant I need to be even more cognizant of what I'm writing. Because there was no dialogue, it was an even greater challenge. The music of No One Will Save You, I would describe as surprisingly organic. We wanted the score to feel still a little foreign, so one of the techniques I would use was pre-record. So normally you have the orchestra at the end of the film. Well, this time I recorded little fragments of ideas and heavily tweaked. So it was still organic, but it was either detuned or reversed. It didn't sound like your traditional orchestra, but it still sounded organic. So sonically, the sound of No One Will Save You. It has some classic orchestral elements happening, but then I would do weird things with them, like I would take two oboes and I would make them play really high. They couldn't quite play perfectly in tune. There was always something off about it, something that doesn't feel quite right. The alien theme is more sound than theme. It's not necessarily a melody, but it's a grouping of sounds that you're gonna hear when their presence is felt. There's also a sound that I like to call like the danger sound or the warning sound, which was trombones and French horns bending their notes. So everyone knows the trombone has a slide. So that means the trombone can bend pitch just like a violin or cello. When you hear that sound in the film, you know that Brent is in danger. One of my favorite cues in the film is really just the opening. I took string glissandos going down, but reversed them. And so they evolve over time and get thicker and they become like this cloud of sound. You also hear these trombones and French horns. That juxtaposition between that string cloud, that brass cloud, kind of like if you were sitting at a piano, we're banging on the top of the keyboard and the bottom of the keyboard. The combined effect of that is that feeling of dread, that feeling of horror. 
One of the cool scenes in the film is when Brynn is being chased. And that's one of the places where we hear this really odd alien melody that I came up with that was basically strings play that melody in reverse and then played it back. <laughs> but it, it was now reversed, so it sounds really unnatural. There's something so bizarre about it, but you can't quite put your finger on it. The unique thing about the No One Will Save You score is its cinematic feel, yet with its highly altered textures. And I think the way we alter those textures, taking orchestra, reversing it, slowing it down, pitching it down, I think that's what gives it its unique sonic fingerprint.